Hey, well, welcome to the Dream Labs with Dr. Contrast Live. It's really good to be back on board, and I uh, just want to take a moment here, a little bit of a filler piece before we get started here today. The subject matter we're going to work on are just some really quick little uh, rapid sketch uh, visualization studies for uh, projectors, uh, video projectors. So it'd be kind of nice to uh, kind of turn the corner a little bit of, of uh, product work here today. And um, I'm going to work with a ballpoint pen and uh, just a real couple of real fast uh, black ballpoint pen rapid sketches here to get some things organized. But I thought, you know, we started a, a, a conversation last Tuesday when I was on the stream kind of giving a program update and um, really talked about getting into some more fundamental things about putting together sketches or concept work. And I think spending a little bit of time here before I get into some of the sketches, I think one of the most critical things when you get into concept sketch work or any ideation, no matter what the discipline is, is getting those platforms set. And I think I spent a little bit of time talking about that the other day, what a platform really means. And before I start these sketches, I want to show you something here really quickly. My platforming means getting the thing staged or set up properly in perspective um, or else to, to convey the sketch. You're getting a, the right start. If you start well, you finish well. Start an error, we'll finish an error. So I just want to take a moment here to show you what a platform might look like. For example, when you set up a certain sketch in red pen, let's just kind of lay out a little format here. This, this area here, this confined area, is basically going to be described as, for our purposes, a platform. It sets the stage. Tells me where the perspective drive lines are as I go back to horizon line. That's critical. The other thing that's interesting too is it also sets up the rest of the geometry, for example, of putting the sketches together. And that could be as simple as doing something like this. So you come back to a vertical, back to a vertical, and you again, again notice that drive line to that drive line and that drive line to that drive line. As you come back on this, same thing, drive line to drive line. We're going to set this thing up so we've got a bit of a stage to work with. Now, on top of all that, this whole idea, this this initial platform, this area right here, this guy, a little bit heavier, that platform can help me set up a lot of neat things. Now I'll come back to this. I'm going to add a lens to this platform. So I'll come back in, and then let's find the perspective center. And there it is there. Come back to a line here, major axis, then a minor axis, and spin that circle or that projector lens around that. There you are. And you come back in again. Let's, let's, just kind of, let's take this line back, this tangent. Let's take this back and do this. Let's put a little bit of a, this, a little, a little bit of a lump on it again. Okay, a little conical shape, right back to this drive line, and then maybe into that drive line. And let's end this up and just kind of, kind of come back and add to that shape. Follow that back in perspective. Pardon me here. There I go. Bring this in a little bit of radius. And again, shows you how that simple thing, like getting a platform set, can change the entire process of what you're working with here. Now we can add things like this. On the platform set, we can use that to kind of come back in and set up the form and begin to separate some of the shapes. Notice a little bit of crown. Let's go back out and extend the lens. Back out from now the axis in perspective. Add the lens out here. Come back and hit that again. Bring it all together. And go inside that. And again, pick up a little bit of detail here. And again, into that shape. And that's it. Add a little bit of a, maybe a button on off switch there and there and there you go there's that form pretty well set and it all started out because we set up a let's go with this again we set up the platform which is here in perspective that helps me drive these lines out for example back to horizon line back to horizon line you do a little mini of that it looks like this come back in here's my horizon line here's my leading edge i come back in set the platform up by doing the following it's that to which is the width, take that back to notice, again here. And that area right there, let's kind of beat this up, vanishing point left, vanishing point right. This area right here sets up a platform or a position in space for me to work with that I can kind of pull together and say, hey, this is it. And this is really neat how it all comes together here. And uh, again, starting out with that platform is so critical. Now, if I come back and extend that out here, I can pick up a face here. Back to perspective, circle, out the circle, and then begin to build that property off of that shape. If we go back to this guy for a moment here. Let's go back in and I just kind of pick up another area here. I'll come back and pick this one up and say, okay, now let's do this. Yeah, up here, off of that shape. Let's set up the face of that square, or a cube rather. Take that back in perspective. Take that back in perspective. And that, and again, same process. Let's pick up the perspective center. Again, major axis, which is critical. Minor axis, right back to vanishing point. In this case, vanishing point left. That sets me up again with the circle in place. 
which does that. Now I come back in and finish that off by doing the following. There's a shape there. It comes back in through here. Comes back out again. Maybe this is a little bit rounder. That comes into that form. Comes back and just be nice and simple. And there it is. That whole form was predicated on getting that platform right and starting it in the right, right direction. Now, if I go back and recess it here, and go back inside, same process. There's my axle, which is really the, how I generate that circle around that form. So that helps you kind of get that all set up. And no matter where you go with this thing, it's accurate because again, let me start here from square one. This area right here, that one, to that, to that, to that, sets up a platform. And that platform is useful because it tells me how to use this area here in perspective to build the whole shape correctly. No matter what I grab onto it, no matter what I add to it or take away from it, I can begin to use that. And it's very interesting, too, how this whole thing I can add to this. I can add a stilt, again, back in perspective off the platform, back underneath the platform, into the radius, and rid of a stand. If that's the case you're going to work with, it, it all works together. And it just really all comes together in really strong harmony with the piece together. So based on that, I thought we'd start with that just as a, a simple premise or a preface about why it's so important to pick up these things in concept sketch work. Now, it doesn't matter if it's product design, architecture, uh, transportation design, interior space design, that all works together. Getting those platforms set or getting the base set really helps to put it all together for us. And I think that's really the neat thing about the whole idea. Um, so let's put that aside for a second here. And now that we've got that little little thumbnail set in space here we'll kind of move in and do some some uh, concept sketch around some of the projectors and uh, by the way i want to make uh, real quickly through i want to thank you for taking the time here today if you're uh, witnessing now or watching i uh, really appreciate it because um, uh, i've changed my schedule from tuesday thursday to wednesday got a bit of a late start today because of a call coming into the office but i got that squared away but uh, i'm going to go wednesday every wednesday now live at about 2 30 thereabouts and go from there so thank you for joining forces with me any questions fire away as i go through this process here today let's get this started so let's do this let's, let's just let's generate knowing that the platform's already been set and i can go back and describe that if we need to a little bit later on let's just go back in and get this thing all set up here let's do this let's let's, let's pick that up come back to center line take this back in space rotate around it there it is, real loosely. Nice simple form is my center line here. Come back off of that. Come right back in and just pick up that same process here. There's that lens coming back into that. Coming in back into that. Into that little round form here. Let's break this up a bit. There it is. Come back, let's come forward on this. My center line is here. Here's my frame of reference right here. And it's that to that center line inner axis major axis into the rotation of the circle back out again and here there a bit of shadow here a little designation the graphics on it come back inside here just a little bit and kind of tone that just a touch get that out of the way come back into this where this graph line is and here and again some definition around that lens and there's sketch number one, really quick and very rapid. But yeah, again, that platform has set me up here. It's the same process. What's missing is that rectangular form that it sits in, very similar to the first sketch we did here. So now it's interesting that we go back to this. Let's go back in through here, set a platform up. Come back through this thing, bend this out a little bit, pick a line through here and drive right through it, graph that into place, stop it here, come back and pick up a vertical, add a little bit of this shape to it. Back and through here, bring that forward. Intersection. A little bit more of a rectangular form here. Doesn't always have to be round. Again, notice. The process takes place. Let's take this. Let's take this back. There's a little bit of a cut line here. Add up. Break that up just a bit. Secondary line here, we work that through.
graphics on this guy. Got to clean things up just a bit back here. And again, coming off that same platform, little sketch number two. Hey, Debbie, Diehard66, how are you? Hey, good day. Thanks very much, Diehard. Good to have you on board here today. Just going through some really rapid little thumbnail sketches on where we are here today. Just uh, let's kind of play this thing up here just a bit. Let's come forward now on the picture plane. Same platform setup. Let's come back in through here. Open this up just a bit. Here I am here. Let's come really, let's go forward this guy. Let's get this circle up in place. Let's kind of drive that back. Get the transients to work here. There it is there. Come back out through here. Pop that in place. And just open this up. Just getting some really neat little thumbnail sketches. Kind of put these guys together here. A little bit of a treat here, a little bit of shadow, off that form. Definition in the shape, and just again, real quick, little rapid thumbnail sketches, just looking at how platforms begin to work and how they deal, for example, with these, that inside center line, there it is there, there it is. Coming back in, that's what I built off of. There it is there. Come back in again here. Let's keep it all flush here now. Let's open this up just a bit. I come back to a line through here. There it is there. Get that shape on, on an incline. Let's take that back. Real subtle bump here. line a graphic breakup on it let's got to pull this projecting line back in here let's go with a little bit of recess and take that same shape we're going to settle it back inside there and there it is right about there let's take this guy through Pretty neat. I just kind of get a little bit of elevation here. Let's do this. Get a little bit color change or texture change in this little side elevation work here. Now the baseline, a little elevation study on top of that, just kind of putting it all together. And uh, last but not least, maybe a little bit of plan view. What is this guy going to look like in a plan view? A little bit of a different design direction here. I'm going to break this out. For a little bit of a hiccup here. Let's get this form to kind of come through here and change just a bit. into that I'm just kind of going this little composition page here is putting these pieces together and how things are going so go back in and do the a uh, little more one some a vertical setup here right just a, a more angular real quick little thumbnail studies 
before we put them into perspective I gotta see what the shapes might look like here just nice quick gestures and again let me slow down for a moment here what we're looking at here is just a basic gesture of things how to put together a platform in place and i think really that's really critical how it all comes together in terms of once you have that platform set up or that that area that you're dealing with that guide sets everything up in perspective for you. it does not change it keeps everything in order what do you think? Die hard making sense so far? Any questions so far or comments uh, you want to make? Uh, good to have you on board. I hope you're having a great new year. Thanks so much for joining me. New, new format, new day. Uh, but uh, I'm looking forward to working with it here as we go from, from sketch to sketch to sketch. So let's, let's go to phase one here. Let's just go ahead and get this all set. There's a sketch series there. Let's go back in and pick up some, some additional work here. Let's put that guy. Start out with a little elevation study here on top. This thing will work out yet. Put everything on the screen. There it is. Elevation, baseline. Go back in and pick it up a little bit and float it. Just a bit. Tail section and just really roll into something that's really kind of unique here. Come out of that. Throw that lens. Bring it right back in underneath here. Split line in it. Pick this up, change that character just a bit. Quick gestures. Shadow underneath there. Let's get all lined up a little bit deeper. And there it is. So there's a little elevation study to work with there. Uh, let's see. Die hard. Hope you're having a great new year as well. No question. <laughs> oh, that's uh, cool. That's great. Uh, look at <laughs> So that's cool. Let's go back in again here. A little bit of a plan view study. Lens change here. On off buttons or some sequence systems up on top here. Just a nice little plan view sketch of what that thing might look like up on top. Notice again, not a lot of effort putting forth and putting together some of these pieces because it's just it's almost self-explanatory. We actually take a look at this stuff. And again, let's build this platform. Come across in through here. Let's get this all set up. I'm gonna come right across and just now I'm gonna pick up the pick up the lens first. There I am. The reason I know that's there is because, again, drive line to drive line to drive line. All these things in your mind's eye, you begin to see and put together with much more confidence. So that's where it starts there. Let's come back in and just pick this up. Bring this across. Deny that in. Let's build this in. Get that little razor line build out of it. It's a little bit neat to kind of pick up some really interesting shapes here. Perspective.
Doesn't take an awful lot. Just to get enough surface here to a little bit of tint in this thing. That's where the shadows are. But again, they're just they're simple little forms. I'm huh? putting it all pieces together here and hopefully making some good sense for us. Again, let's put some on off controls here. We'll come back into that, into that, into that. There we go. <clears throat> Maybe something else is interesting too. Maybe we try something maybe a little more vertical. We roll around this thing. Put the form in first. Catch that area. And come out here and just begin to build when that lens is going to fall. Fall off of that. that. Good here. And there we are, a little, little thumbnail sketch here, hope it all put together. And uh, just, just just fun stuff. So let's kind of look at this thing for one more time here. Let's just uh, really, really slow this down just a bit here. of a different form study here. A little elevation, a little, a little thumbnail sketch here. Like it's fun stuff to just kind of compose of this. Let's go back and look at something here, a little more intriguing. More stealth like. Very angular. Extra change here. Yeah, interesting little series of forms. It's just like exploring some things here, as far as detail and concept is, 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 is concerned. Well, there's, you know, there's another page of the little thumbnail sketches. Again, it's the whole idea. Let me stop here for a moment. The whole concept behind this program today 
is to understand the value of putting this guy together first. Those platform areas are pretty critical. That whole area there, that whole rectangular piece, sets everything in motion for us. That sets up the platform or the position in space upon which we add elements such as conical forms, cylindrical forms, round shapes, or anything organic makes a huge difference. So go back and look at this thing here, and let's just go back and look at that. That's that aside. Let's start another shit, a fresh sheet here. That's two. Go back and look at something else here. What happens if we do something like this? <clears throat> Come back in. Platform. Let's break this out. Break this out. Come back in. Just a little bit of a bevel change here. A little bit of bevel change there. And then just kind of bring this line through. Give me a line to work with here. A little bit of body to it. Very linear. Go back and look at this thing. It's back to normal in a moment here. Let's get that offset. And there it is. A bit of highlight there. And a little shape. There's a simple little thumbnail study again, working on this whole idea of getting some really quick little projector sketches down that are just very lucid and extremely dramatic in a sense. Let's go back to an elevation here real quickly. Change them. A little bit of format. Back forward. Let's kind of come back and cantilever this thing a little bit. line baseline in there it is surface definition graphics again a little bit more definition here back in through here pardon me as I turn this guy just a bit a bit of detail there Back to this, the lens area, and there we are. Let's, uh, pardon me, move it out of the screen there. Just a little bit of a shelf piece here. There's a thin old elevation study on that guy. Maybe it's something like this. More geometric. Go 
an elevation. Give a little bit of step here. The lens area. Place here. Again, elevation study, just a real quick little thumbnail sketch. Hey, Jeff, how you doing? Anyway, yeah, it's fun stuff, Grant. Just really neat and kind of look at it, Jeff. Good to have you on board, man. How are you? Just looking at different forms here, and I think I started the whole program out, Jeff. And you and I talked about this often, about getting a platform set. Once you set that perspective up, everything else falls into place. And so often, when you get into organic shapes, for example, I started the program by just getting into this area right here, that red line right there. That becomes my platform. That sets up everything in terms of putting pieces together and how it all begins to fall into place. No matter what you add onto it or take away from it, you've got a, a, you've got a means of escape or a process to get there. So it's good to have you on board, Jeff. I hope all is well with you. I'm just exploring some things here, obviously. Let's go back and look at this guy here just for what it's worth. Let's go back in.
this up on the page here. A little bit of perimeter around the lens area. Dive it back in. And pick it up. And again, another pretty interesting form, just kind of breaking it up in some sort of some stealth-like or much more geometric piece. We're kind of fun to work with here. And while we're at it here, let's just kind of do this. A little bit of elevation. Start with the lens. That one first. Break this up. Break this down. Do this. Oops, get this back on page here. Hey, Jeff, you still with us? What do you think so far? Making sense? Yeah. Coming along all right? Uh, I'm glad you're on board here today. I'm really hoping that uh, all continues to go well for you, Jeff. Neat to have you on board here. Again, there's a little family of sketches here. Just really rapid what-if concept studies on some projector work. I mean, we've seen enough of this stuff where it's very rectangular, very straightforward, and uh, again, it's functional, but I wanted to explore some shape definition here today. Just have a little bit of fun with this thing to see what would take place here. So there's one. Let's let me do this. We are. Got it there. There's another one here. Just going to keep rolling along. Just fun stuff to work with. Just again, real loose little thumbnail sketches here. Let's do this. Let's get this thing over here, making sense. But we're... Hey, very good today. Thanks, Jeff. Good to have you on board. That's an interesting thing here. I just want to stop for a moment. 
When you see a stroke pattern like this, it indicates that the light source is coming from the upper right, and I'm just following that track where the light source is. Hits that radius here, come back in, a bit of highlight space, come right back and follow the same track of light as it comes across the lower area. So it gives you a little bit of definition of where that light source is coming from, and just got to let it fade from there to there. And again, a little bit of reflection into that thing. Same thing down below. Source coming in here. We're going to go dark. Then the pen and the actual shape of the base. That go. A little bit of highlight. And then go from dark to light. And we're going dark to light it's because that reflected light is going to affect the lower and also direct light down here. So that's part of the process as well. I'm just going to finish this out a little bit here. And another little thumbnail sketch, a little bit more vertical, but again, uh, looking just looking at ideas here. Let's go go back in through here. Let's go back back to an elevation. screen here front view a little elevation study kind of fun Down the page here. There we go. Just want to explore some shape definition and just taking some of the geometric form and some of the getting some of the suppleness out of it and the like. It's kind of neat stuff. Let's do a little some of that guy and this is what happens here. We get this little elevation study.
etc. Those little thumbnails, pretty kind of fun to do. You know, just really rolling through some quick sketches here to kind of get some get some order set, and maybe just some fun stuff here. Let's do this. Another little thumbnail study, just a little vertical piece, and there we are, just kind of putting this piece together here. Again, little form studies, just again, just a page composition, <laughs> things that are going on, you know, things that are taking place. Let's do this. Let's kind of wedge this thing up a little bit here. Let's get this guy here. Just 
just really quick, expressive thumbnail sketches, just pretty rapid looking ideas, not really concentrating on perfection, but just getting the platforms to work for us. Even in an elevation, there's an elevation there that, that has a platform to it. Everything has a substance to it. And I think those are the things we really have to watch. And what we have to deal with is just absolutely amazing to me how it all begins to come together. So there's another little study here. Let's go back and break up with one more here and see what we've got. Let's see. Yes. Let's see what happens here. Let's come back in and just really look at some things here. A little bit of a plan view first. Bit of a plan view shape. It's looking at some very different looking location form. Yeah. Hey, Jeff, are you still there, Jeff? And uh, I hard what do you think? Uh, is this making sense for you guys? It's just looking at uh, different ways of uh, putting together some of the forms we're dealing with here. Let's go back in and get this thing.
Just back in space here. Here we go. Another little form set here, just kind of putting a little bit of a different form or shape to it. There it is. I'm going here, so let's see how to do this. Let's get these guys back in form here. There we are. A little elevation setting. It's a kind of a strange little operation here. Let's go back here and uh, we'll do one last little shot here.
And let's see, let's kind of build on that guy right there, a little page composition again. Uh, based on what we've got, let me just kind of get rid of this guy here. There it goes. Oh, oh, didn't make it. There they are. Hey, got to peel off. Great stream today. Hey, thanks very much, Jeff. Good to have you on board here, Chief. So, say hey, thanks so much. And uh, and uh, die hard if you're still with me. And if so, uh, thanks for joining in today. Just kind of a fun process here to put some little thumbnail sketches together on just some projecting or concept ideas. And I think what we'll do here is we'll just kind of wrap it up here and call it a day. How's that, folks? Nice set of operations here. Just very simple thumbnail sketches based on the whole idea of getting this whole concept put together about um, what a platform does and how it all comes together for us. You work with it and what it does help us go through the process. And I think, uh, let's go back and review where we started here. It's a little and very simple little things here. Uh, real quick review. Uh, we came out on the blocks with a very simple explanation of what a platform means, meaning this area right in through here. That it sets it up in space and just uh, because it tells us where we got to go from there. It sets the guidelines up for adding elements to it or taking things away from it. Um, for example, adding conical shapes or even round circle forms that gives you the idea of where that face is going to fall in place. How to build onto that and how to get to make sure that those circles are correct little perspective diagram showing how much collapse there really is in that platform. This area right here is what we're calling a platform. This starts it all right here. This area in perspective, known as a platform. That's a building block based on the add to it below or above and adding elements onto it. It gives you a guideline for the perspective to work with. So we started there and I went into a real quick little explanation of the, the real reason for the stream today. Um, little thumbnail sketches on projector studies, you know, just real rapid sketches. Every one of these have a, can't see it, but there's a form or a platform around that in which I built shapes from. So these are real rapid little sketches. That was phase one that we did. And we moved into a second phase of them. Uh, another series of sketches, some elevations and some plan views and a couple of perspectives. Again, same process coming together, looking at uh, uh, projectors. And the third page here, went into this form or just a little more geometric, some some very almost stealth-like shapes to work with, uh, but the same process began with a platform in mind, seeing it in my mind's eye, and then breaking out of it and adding on to it. And the next sketch we'll move into here, same series, um, again, looking at perspective thumbnail sketches, all came together and putting together some little rapid little form sketches, but at the same time, all functioning under the idea of having a platform set and knowing how to build off of that as we go through the process. And last but not least, uh, so we just gave us a little more elaborate kind of a little of a bent plane in here a little a little fracture piece and the lens comes off of that but again no matter how complicated things get it simplifies it when you put together a platform to build off of that was the whole idea here today i hope this has helped you enormously as much as i've had much fun putting it together for you and uh, if you have a moment uh, please uh, take a moment to uh, um, just visit my website at uh, jimandrcontrast.com there's some really interesting drawing nine lesson drawing program there might be of some help to you uh, please feel free to visit that. Also, if you have anything you want me to work on throughout the course of the next few Wednesdays or programs to come, drop me a note at jim at drcontrast.com. I'd be more than happy to help you and work with you on some things that you're going through. And we'll take it from there. And then last but not least, I always make sure that this is stated because I mean it sincerely. Um, every time I put together a stream, and it's good to be back on board too. I mean, I missed a lot of time over the holidays. I had some appointment changes with my wife to get all taken care of. So we're going to be back on board today. And again, I want to remind you, I'll be on board. Uh, and live every Wednesday now from about 2.30 on, uh, just one day a week so I can get more prep time and put more more cuts into the presentations as we go through them here. So I want to thank you again for taking the time to join me today. Die Hard and Jeff, thanks so much. And uh, those of you who might be looking at it later, thank you so much for taking the time to do so. Drop me a note again at jim at drcontrast.com. Look at my website, uh, drcontrast.com, and see what you think. My Instagram is there, my YouTube is there, and this Twitch program will be there once they load it up. So once again, game, thanks so much for the time. Have a great day, and I always finish with this. Always never forget to dare to remember to dare to be great, because you are. Thanks very much, game. Have a great week. We'll see you next Wednesday. Thank you very much. Bye now.